Nadia G. Whoop, whoop. You know her, you love her, you can't live without her. And yeah. she is the host of, uh, what's the name of the show? Bitchin' Kitchen. Thank you, better you than me. And it's going into its third season on Food Network. I'm excited. Canada. Now, this is stuff that you're going to try and serve outside, not necessarily in the kitchen. Yeah, well, either right? way, you know, I mean, this is absolutely delicious stuff. It's a, a bitch and take on, on a summer meal. Yeah. And we're going to start off with a, with a hot dog makeover. Okay. okay, I love hot dogs. Great, great stuff. Instead of using regular buns, why not get your hands on some pretzel buns? These are absolutely delicious. Does that hold the whole wiener? Oh, it sure does. Here we've got some spicy Italian sausage. You could use Portuguese sausage. Naughty, you can barely get the wiener in the bun. Hey, Look. David, it's Look. early, too early for this kind of talk, hey, huh? Hey, baby. Okay. okay. <laughs> Here we got uh, some, some Italian pickled vegetables, yes. giardiniera. Yes. So very fun spin on relish. Pop these in the food processor. Sure. And what you end up with is a spicy pickled vegetable oh, relish. Nice. nice. Okay. And what kind like, of mustard do you like? Oh, this is, this is fun Because there's a stuff. million different kinds of mustards now, right? There is, yeah. absolutely. So you get your hands on some regular mustard or Dijon, and instead of using honey, why not use maple syrup? Yes. A nice Canadian spin lovely if you will okay so there we have it we have our gorgeous dog yeah a little bit of this maple mustard on yeah. there yeah grab our jardiniere relish all, that's all going to be in your lap in about 30 seconds yeah now. but you, it's good it's just, messy just it's summer it. fun have it naked if you're in the backyard who cares my goodness you get a little David. relish on your loins who okay cares? moving on what we've got here is we've got a, a play on s'mores. So you melt some, some good quality chocolate, yeah. either in, in a fondue contraption or even in the microwave, okay? Right, right. And then you mash up some graham cracker. And what you do is you oh, get cute. your hands on some sterno gel, yeah. and you can just like create your own little campfire at home well, or gonna, set something on fire. We're going to do that in a minute. Exactly. Yeah, we'll do that in a minute. What's this? What's okay, this? we are having fun tonight. I am super excited. I am launching with Van Gogh two flavors of vodka here in Canada, um, in Ontario. And what we've got there is espresso vodka. Man. So it's absolutely delicious. And we're going to do a bitchin' adult mocha. And we're also going to do a bumbleberry pie drink. But we're going to be serving up these drinks right. at the LCBO today from 4 to 8 o'clock. So wait, 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 wait. come and drink with us. Wait, excuse me a second. Uh, uh, where am I supposed to be holding this? <laughs> Sorry. All right, so the Bitchin Mocha done with Van Gogh Espresso. We've got some chocolate milk in here. Yeah. Add just a little bit of ice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there I like we that. Go. And a nice mason jar, too. Yeah, exactly. And you could you could shake it right in mason, the jar. Wide mouth mason. And here then, we got Van Gogh Espresso Vodka. How delicious is this? Perfectly measured. Yeah. And we're going to shake it up. <laughs> You're scared, Dave. Here no, you I don't want so, it to go. So shake it up. I got a very small <laughs> clothing allowance. I don't want to ruin the jacket. That's there nice. we go. That's a, a beautiful oh. adult. You, you know, who doesn't like iced coffee, right? All right, well, let's go and sit down. Let's go. Yeah, sure. Would you you want to sit down? Yeah, yeah, you? let's go okay, sit down. Okay, let's do it. Let's go sit down. You sit here. Isn't this nice? So here, you see, you got the sterno gel. You could light these right in your house. You don't even need to be outside. Yeah. Well, no, you, you don't want to. You don't want to be doing this in the living room. Sure, you can with sterno gel. You can. Really? Absolutely. In the middle yeah. of the living room floor like this? Yeah, yeah, totally. You got to live on the edge, Dave. Is that right? Okay, yeah. Okay, so so here we go, and you know s'mores. I I don't know. I've never re eaten a lot of s'mores. You know where the s'mores started? Where the s'mores started? Yeah. I don't know. A bunch of people that had some extra no, no, it extra marshmallows and chocolate in their camping gear. Started with uh, the, it started with the Girl Scouts. 1927. Nice. That's the first time a s'mores recipe actually appeared anywhere. Was in a little cookbook that came from the uh, from the Girl Scouts, if you will. And That's then of course, very cool. and then I think the Hershey Company picked up on it and went nuts because of course they wanted to be the people that supplied the chocolate. Yeah, well, right? you know, and and and, it, and it's great. You know, you could do this with high-end chocolate. You could do it with dark milk yeah. chocolate. Yeah. And really, just kind of have some fun with this. It's funny, you know, how you go that you go through the marshmallow transition in life, where as a kid, all you want to do is burn the hell out of it. Yeah. Right. You want that flaming torch-like thing. Exactly. And then, as, as you mature, you learn how to actually get the beautiful golden glow on the exterior of the mallow. Exactly. Right. You don't want it to be completely charred. No. There we go. Oh, here we go. Yeah, you want it to just have that nice toasty flavor. Yeah, but there's a real art to getting it golden brown and not having it combust. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Now, and this this just tastes great with uh, with that bitch and I don't mocha. know if you I mean to you, you don't I don't know you well. In fact, I just met you. But on the surface it would seem to me you're not really the camping type. 
You know what? Any, uh, I'm not really the camping type. For me, a, a three-star hotel is roughing it, Dave. Yeah, I know. I'm going to be honest yeah, with yeah. you. Yeah, you want indoor plumbing. <laughs> You're an indoor plumbing kind of gal. Indoor plumbing, high-speed yeah, yeah. internet. Yeah, you exactly. Know. So uh, the number of campfires you've probably been around hasn't been that great. No. That's why I'm a big fan of Sterno Gel. <laughs> what are you on, the Sterno Gel marketing board? <laughs> no, I'm not. I probably should be. I probably should be. Exactly. Okay. Hang on a sec. I just want to... So we get these heated up, and then we, they go between graham crackers. But how do, you, how do you melt the chocolate, Nadia? How do you, you do that? You don't. Oh, you don't melt the chocolate? Yeah, yeah. You don't, me you don't melt the chocolate. You, well, just... wait, you put the chocolate here. You That's put right, the, exactly. You put the marshmallow in marshmallow there. Marshmallow in the middle. You get the you... marshmallow nice and hot. And then you pinch it between another exactly. one like this. Exactly. And then you eat that and hope you don't cause yourself third degree burn. You see, look at that gorgeous toasty color. Yeah, yeah. But it's, you know, it's. What a... are you going to do this weekend? Well, this weekend, well, tonight we have a huge party at the LCBO, okay. serving up well, those yeah, drinks. This some, yeah, we're at the Summer Hill uh, LCBO. Right. We're going to be launching those two amazing flavors of Van Gogh vodka right. and serving up the drinks and uh, some of these snacks as well. Okay. So that's going to kick off uh, kick off the weekend. Everyone should come on down. We're giving away free cookbooks yeah. as well. Okay. Um, so Nadia, it's... we're running out of time. So that's what you're going to do today and, and this weekend. And then you've got the third season of. Big Kitchen Kitchen coming out on Food Network Canada this fall, and you've got the cookbook, yep. Cooking for Trouble. Cooking for Trouble. Because you are nothing but trouble. Exactly. All right. Okay. Thanks so much for coming down. Thank and you. Look at this gorgeous cookout. marshmallow. Oh my gosh, wow. This is fantastic. Like You're watching The Morning Show on a Thursday morning. My day is starting out well. We'll be right back. Marshmallows roasting <laughs> on some open sterno. <laughs> this is the definition it's a new spin. Of urban camping, sitting on Bloor Street <laughs> in Yorkville. We are starting to get our s'mores. We need some s'mores. I love it. I can't believe I burned my marshmallow. Yeah, yours is I pretty see, I, charred. That's what I do, though. And then you take, and then the, you skin you take the skin off and yeah. you can do it again. I like when I get it bubbly and brown. You know that great scene in the movie Dennis the Menace where the molten marshmallow gets flipped and heads towards Mr. Wilson's forehead? <laughs> I did not oh, see yeah. Dennis the Menace. My friend, yeah, but it does sound funny. Um, Nadia, yeah. thanks for all this. Oh, you're welcome. And the, you know, this is super fun. You can kind of do this anywhere, and yep. and of course, peel off the uh, <laughs> the charred part the before bit. you. Dave, before wait a you minute. Eat that, What's your but... opinion? You've never had this. Is your first s'more in your this 58 one. years? Yeah, it's very, very good. Do you like Isn't it? Young? Yeah, you it, it is young. It okay. is young. Oh, you don't want to eat too many of these. No, no. Everything no, in moderation, sweet, baby. especially right. moderation. Yeah, but oh, and you can really vary this as much as you want with one. the quality of the chocolate or the type so of cracker. Take the last one? Absolutely. Oh. Right, you can no, you ramp up the cracker if you don't want graham crackers. Yeah, well, I mean, you kind of need the graham you cracker, gotta go though. Graham like, cracker. That's, that's a big that's part a of the smoke. Sort of thing. Look, but, I but the chocolate, though, I agree with you. You can have like, some fun with that. Yeah. yeah, this didn't work out well at all. So tomorrow is my day. What's going to happen on your day besides just drinking? Uh, there will be a mixologist That's what dropping by. <laughs> and there will and also be Lee and Meg, dancers. the mommy bloggers who are super fun and quite frankly, I don't know if we actually have a reason to bring them other than the fact that I love chit-chatting with them, so we're going to do that. Okay. I think it's manicures and pedicures. Yeah. Uh, we're having Andrew Richards bring in I've all sorts focus. of... Oh, really? Because yeah. of your s'more? I could see that in your eyes, it actually, Chris. You were coma. looking at me you're like, I'm so not listening right now. <laughs> I could that. It's all nice that. and gooey, man. You've got, oh, the, you got a good thing going on. I know, right so it's going to be that gorgeous. does look good. I don't see any more graham crackers, though. Where did they go? Um, so that's going to be my, that's how we're going to do the finale of the, you're a wreck, <laughs> the kickoff to summer yeah. week as we head into the long weekend. It is going to be hot today, people. 32 is the forecast high. So sad about burning I'm the heck out yeah, of this You thing. almost don't, don't need a graham cracker. On there. You got the, uh, you got the texture. It. But it's going to be an extraordinary no, weekend. <laughs> there's Pride this weekend. Yep. There's the Euro yeah. Cup yep. this weekend. Yep. And there's Canada Day. There's fireworks. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be fantastic. We'll be back tomorrow starting live at 6 a.m. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.